least impressive, most impressive demo that you can do. So when you get bound up in rebar and this thing wants to kick, Cordy use today, they come all the way around, they smack you in the face, they send you off your ladder. Horrible. You know what I'm gonna say about this? It's not gonna, it's not gonna translate on camera, how important that is, because nothing's happening. But that's the whole idea behind it. Nothing's happening. Yep. You're, and you're not getting injured, you're not getting thrown off the ladder, off the scaffold. So that's a good thing. Absolutely, and that's the name of the game. How can we make coring safer and simpler with things like a level so that you don't get bound up because you know when you're drilling straight and you're not going in cockeyed. Along with pressure gauges so you actually know when you're pushing and you can actually core faster than a wall outlet with this tool because it'll optimize and tell you you're pushing too hard or you're pushing too little so you're drilling hard and you Are don't have audible? to worry about tripping it. Is it bottom. audible? No, so it's not. The You have to look at the gauges and its color. Gotcha, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and again, pair it with your dust extraction solutions. It can either be used handheld or mounted. So if you're drilling down where you want to mount it, great solution there or handheld on a wall. Gotcha. Awesome, these are cordial solutions. Again, they have the water spigots you can use with the M18 switch tank or our vacuums. So what's the process here? We're set in place. Yep, yep, you're anchored in. Okay, we, we turn on our water. Can't go, yep. And there, there is no side handle, but I guess it doesn't, it no doesn't, side it doesn't really matter. Yep. And I removed your trigger lock, but you would have this. You would have so, the trigger lock on, and then this. So, we, 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 so let me ask you a question. Yeah. So we just feed it as, as we... As you go. And I, and I could just go. If you wanted to. Okay, we'll see. One of two things would happen, in my opinion. You'd stall, or you'd get thrown, but we, we can't get thrown, so... I'm pretty impressed at how quickly it's drilling. My, my, here's my question. Like how much, how much battery did that eat? Oh, you can see it up here. So you look over here, you got your battery gauge. Yo, it didn't budge. What, is, what size is this? That so it's six? Six inch. So that is the max capacity for this. Uh, this core drill. It's a six inch core drill bit. I can't believe it. It didn't stall. We didn't go through any battery. I, I'm, in, I'm impressed. This is the first time I use this. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that it? All right. I think I'm going to hand you off to nailers. Let's go to. Oh, you're handing me off? Oh, yeah. I'm handing you off. Come on, Eric. So, Milwaukee Tool told me I had to put on one piece of Milwaukee PPE to remain in their booth. Otherwise, they were going to kick me out. We happen to have Brian with us. He's going to go over some of Milwaukee's carpentry tools. Yep. What do you have for us, Brian? Yeah, so starting off right here, we have our 21 degree and 30 degree framing nailer. So with these framing nailers, we're really driving that pneumatic-like performance. So we have the power to, engin to uh, nail engineered lumbers. This is a double stack LBL right here. We also have that firing speed most commonly associated with the pneumatic tool. So up to three nails per second. Our best thing with these tools is they operate on our M18 battery. So you you don't have any consumable gas canister, no gas cartridge associated with the tool, all exclusively powered by our M18 battery, get you up to 500 nails on a single battery charge. Brian, I got a question for you yep. that everybody asks. What's the difference between 30 degree and 21 degree? Why would you choose 30 over 21 or vice versa? Yeah, so really it comes down to regional preference. You see in certain areas of the country, you'll see a, 
a lot of 21 degree and then in other areas you'll see the 30 degree primarily in the Midwest, East Coast. Um, but in terms of the nails, there's really not a big difference. Uh, the 30 degree paper collated nails are gonna have that different collation angle and they're gonna be paper collated and then the 21 degree is gonna be a plastic collated nailer. So. You know, I tell them that all the time and they don't believe me. Now I had an expert answer. Yeah. That's it. Now you got your answer, okay? Yeah, you wanna try one of these out? Heck yeah. So, we're in rapid fire mode right now, I believe. You know what's funny about this? I almost feel like in rapid fire mode, it actually sinks them deeper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. Operator error. That's, that's sweet. Yeah. Then if you wanted to... And then you can always switch it back to sequential. There you go, sequential. I was at a loss for words. Good thing Brian's here. Guess you have to, there we are, hold it down, boom. We're in sequential, so it doesn't matter if I hold it down or not, we're locked out. You put it down, pull the trigger, boom. Nice, that's sweet. It's got that consistent depth every time. It does too, yeah. as long as I hold it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> if I pull it on too quick, it might, we might be a little proud. Occasionally you'll get one of those, but this is the toughest material stack. If you'll see this double stacked LBL with our longest nail, three and a half inch, 131s. So it's got plenty of power. Cool. You said there's a circular saw around here somewhere? Yep. Yeah, so we got that on the other side. No, we're going on the other side. We got right line of sight here, what the heck? These are our two circular saws. We have our sidewinder and our rear handle model. Uh, basically, this comes down to user preference as well. You're gonna have the right mounted blade with the sidewinder and with the rear handle, you're gonna have that left mounted blade. Both of them are seven and a quarter cut capacity. Um, but additionally, they're very similar saws. So they give you the corded performance equivalent to 15 amp corded, and they actually cut faster than most 15 amp corded models. So here's a question. Is, is, this, is this Roy line of sight is this, an up, is this a, a Gen 2 or an upgraded model? I, I feel like this is different, slightly different. Yeah, so we did have an original Sidewinder that came out a few years back. This is our Gen 2 model of it. Um, this also launched a few years ago, but it, it is the latest and greatest in terms of fuel technology, uh, in terms of cut capacity, cut speed, and the power optimized by our high output M18 batteries. If you want to see those circular soles in action, you go to this video over here. No. I appreciate your help. Yeah. Thanks a Thank lot, you. Brian. I appreciate it. Hope to see you all on the next one. <laughs> Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>